Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me. Today I'd like to uh, read from the Dhammapada. There we go. The Master. At the end of the way, the Master finds freedom. From desire and sorrow, freedom without bonds. Those who awaken never rest in one place. Like swans, they rise and leave the lake. On the air they rise, and fly an invisible course, gathering nothing, storing nothing. Their food is knowledge. They live upon emptiness. They have seen how to break free. Who can follow them? Only the master. Such is his purity. Like a bird, he rises on the limitless air and flies an invisible course. He wishes for nothing. His food is knowledge. He lives upon emptiness. He has broken free. He is the charioteer. He is the tamed. He has tamed his horses. Pride. And the senses, even the gods admire him, yielding like the earth, joyous and clear like the lake, still as the stone at the door. He is free from life and death. His thoughts are still. His words are still. His work is stillness. He, s he sees his freedom and is free. The master surrenders his beliefs. He sees beyond the end and the beginning. He cuts all ties. He gives up all he desires. He resists all temptations and he rises and wherever he lives in the city or the country in the valley or in the hills there is great joy even in the empty forest he finds joy because he wants nothing Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you again on the next chapter of the Dhammapada. Take it easy. See you next time.